Hey everybody, and a welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Tatooine, a Dusk of War. Which basically, this is a Mos Eisley map, but then set at night, and with a beautiful skybox, a beautiful backdrop, look at that. We've got some spectacular flak and lasers going up into the air, and the initial thing that I thought when I saw this, usually I don't like, um dark maps or maps that play at night but this actually proves that aesthetically I can find this a very very pleasing but there's a few uh, prerequisites I guess that need to be made first the skybox does indeed need to be uh, very nice looking and in this case that that's the case it's not all dark you know there's quite a bit of bright colors in the sky itself it's kind of mesmerizing you would have the same thing if you were, for example, would make like an aurora in the sky. Uh, other than that, the level itself looks actually quite bright and is uh, very pleasing to the eye. Uh, it is mostly, of course, just the regular Moss Isley props that we know. Um, but this does definitely make Moss Isley feel quite a bit different. It is a quite vertical map, but as you can see quite a bit spread out. It's not all in one lane battle that we have seen before in other uh, Mos Eisley maps. Got some nice skins here too. Another command post for the Republic. Just a really cool looking map. Simple, but again, it achieves what it wants. Look at that, even the AI can actually go up th that ramp. Of course, having it now at night, all the blaster fire looks extra spectacular. Ugh. The shields of the uh, of the droidicas really pop. The enemy has taken a command post. This isn't necessarily one of those maps that you will find in like the top ten maps or something, but it is very solid. Uh, and again, for those who prefer more infantry uh, based combat uh, and in a sense this for example I did not too long ago I did the Sarlacc pit interior which was very corridor based or tunnel based uh, this is not the case and this adheres more to that feeling of playing a uh, Call of Duty game mul multiplayer than let's say the Sarlacc pit I can play as Wookie oh my God, and then it turned to a must download. What in God's name is this? Wait, is, do they have a. Oh, they do have actually a vehicle. It's, it's not infantry only. Oh my God, he's fast. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. Very OP in that sense. This is actually part of the um, Hidden Gems mod, meaning it's a quite an old map. Uh, for some reason, it still feels quite fresh to me. It's gonna sound weird, but with the older maps, I usually have uh, a feeling that their lighting is not as good. And this is great lighting, in my opinion. Kikiboo! Another command post for the Republic. I sometimes also in other maps say that uh, it could use some turrets. This map does exactly that. You know, it adds multiple turrets on both sides giving uh, both infantry and multiplayer, but also the AI more stuff to do. It's easier to defend certain places uh, and makes it overall more challenging and also spectacular. Very well playable with AI. They seem to be able to get through the environment very well. Pretty balanced too. We are ahead of the curve, but I did kill a few with the uh, overpowered Wookie. Republic is in control of a command post. They're losing reinforcements. Keep it up. 
you could, if you want some, you could say, well, uh, the northern side, so the clones have three command posts very much near each other, which balance-wise might be difficult because uh, they can reinforce those points very quickly. You can actually see that now the CIS is trying to capture the left one, and I'm very curious if the AI is going to d take it back. But if you compare it to the outposts that the CIS have in the beginning, uh, they're way more spread out, uh, meaning it's more difficult to defend them. They do actually do a good job of spreading their units across. Again, the turrets. I cannot... Whenever you make a map, do not underestimate turrets. They can make the map feel so much more full and alive. Give some love to turrets, map makers. I never get in them, so <laughs> don't expect me to use them. But it's more for the AI to use them. Again, I love just all of the, the blaster fire in the sky. Really, really cool. Just very atmospheric. Very, very good. It's difficult too. I did, of course, Bakura Town Assault uh, not too long ago. And this one is so drastically different that I could not tell you... Uh, which one of those is my favorites? Might be, um, you know, how I'm feeling. If I want to do a night battle, or if I want to do, you know, more an urban. Uh, well, actually, this is also urban. This might actually be my favorite then, compared to Bakura Town Assault. Killed my own dude there. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because, again, prop-wise and assets that are used... Not that special. Not that special at all. I... I do say again the layout is good, so even if this was during the day, yes it would be less special, uh, but I do also think that the layout is good enough uh, to where it's fun to play. Oh, there it is. Just literally thinking, where's the command post? Here you go, another turret. And again, having command posts up here might be difficult for AI to actually get here. Uh, they have no problem spawning here, obviously, but actually capturing this, that might be difficult for them. <laughs> Very fun. And I'll tell you this, so th this doesn't feel as, like, old, uh, Bakura Town Assault does, despite even having some custom assets and objects, like the exploding barrels, uh, but just the assets used, and of course also the skybox, make it feel like that old, uh, those first generation maps. What you got. Again, it's also very competitive. You can see now, up in the north, the AI is actually trying to capture the second command post. So, despite what I said, it is actually still quite balanced. Uh, so, that is very good to know. And just the combat is quite fierce. Look at that. They've also uh, gained on us. Our scores are way more even now. I will tell you one thing, and I don't know if this is the case. I see most of the clones up here. Uh, they didn't really go down the street. I don't know if that is an issue with some of them getting stuck in the terrain. Like, here we got one dude. Oh, no, here we got more. Okay, no, they do actually spread out. Very good lay uh, layout. Mark that 
Wow, that guy was in a lot of pain. Uh, sniper? No. Post under attack. Our second wave of yeah, why not? Let's do another shotgun. Look at that. We only have one left. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Oh, they can actually take it. Look at that. Very impressive. Wow, the CIA, uh, the CIA strikes back. Strikes back. English. <laughs> the CIS strikes back is what I wanted to say. Not the CIA. Strikes back. Is that from a turret up there? That might actually be a sniper rifle. Uh, we're actually going to get a droidic up there. Oh, look at that. We're actually losing. Holy sweet Jesus. What a comeback for the op opposition. Oh, there we go. Guys, I think it's a very cool map. You can check it out in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests on maps or mods you want to see in the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.